Wow, we made it, guys. No! Hello, guys, Mukas here. This will be a tutorial about one of my favorite vehicle loadouts, the Battle Sandy. This tutorial has been requested a lot because uh, I showcased some crazy moments in previous videos. So this has become one of my favorite vehicles because it has a lot of potential with the squad. Even if you're playing solo it's very useful, but if you have a squad to support it, it can be devastating. The more players you have, the more powerful it is. That's why I find it so interesting, it really promotes team play. I everyone in the crew can be useful in some way. But this is also a big requirement to play it, you need at least two crew members to be effective. Your two gunners. And the more you have the better, you can have pocket engineers to repair, you can have a vessel to pop out. So get some friends guys. <laughs> guys, there is so much to say about this vehicle that this will just be an introduction with the basics. The vehicle loadout, the driver loadout and some general tips. Because when I say Battle Sunday, it's not only the vehicle but it's also the crew. The driver, the gunners, and the passengers, you can com you can do a lot of combinations. Uh, so I like to pull this vehicle when we are outnumbered, it's a great way to infiltrate on the battle just with a small force. And it helps a lot to keep the squad united because all the squad members can spawn on it directly. Even if you're not deployed, this is a huge improvement that came with the Galaxy update. If there is a squad member inside the bus, any other squad member can spawn on it with any class, except Max's. So you can exploit this a lot. So I'm using a variety of weapons on top, but you can already do very well with the double basilisk. The default weapon is very versatile, the gunners can engage anything, infantry, ground and air, it's just that they don't have many much range. So that's why I like to always keep one basilisk on top. My current favorite combo is one M M40 Fury and one basilisk. It's more effective at close range and against infantry, but the Fury runs out of ammo very fast and he cannot engage targets too far away. So in this tutorial I'll talk about the double basilisk, because it's cheaper. So the most important part of this loadout is the blockade armor, the defense slot. At max rank, it reduces damage by 12% from the front end sides, and 25% from the back, this is huge. That's why I'm always showing my back to big targets. I say to my squ squad I need to show my ass, this is because uh, I'm showing the back of the Sandy. For example, when we're fighting tanks or clumps of infantry, this makes a huge difference. For example, a heavy assault needs 8 rockets to kill a Sandy with the, with the blockade armor maxed out. He needs eight, he need 8 rockets from the front and sides, but from the back, he needs 11 rockets. 3 more rockets is big, so you need to exploit the back armor to the maximum. Nice, That's the only way to campaign against heavy tanks and other big targets. So the second part of this loadout is the chassis. I use the racer chassis because of the acceleration bonus that it gives you. You start moving faster and at full speed you can go as fast as the lightning. You can outrun tanks, you can outrun uh, other senders without a racer. Uh, so this is great combined with the blockade armor because I can escape very fast and I take minimal damage while doing so. And uh, you need to escape very often, you're gonna get chased by tanks, you're gonna get chased by everything. When you start smoking everyone wants to kill you. <laughs> So with the Racer Chassis Max rank, you can go up to 80 km per hour, which is really fast, but you need to uh, watch out to not collide with other vehicles or with rocks, because you can really uh, fail and completely flip the Sandy lo and lose everything. So the Racer Chassis doesn't improve the reverse speed, so I show my back only when there is action. I'm just going forward normally for long trips, but when I see that there's gonna be action, I turn around and show the back. This is very important. So the next important perk is the fire suppression. At max rank it heals 12% health over 5 seconds and it saved me so many times because you can, because you can use it very often. Uh, every 45 seconds at max rank so I, I can use it even preventively like at the start of an engagement to have a chance to use it again at the end. But the best of course is to keep it only for critical situation because it heals even more if you are burning. So it has, it, so it helps a lot to escape uh, bad situations, just to make that few more meters to cover. These few more meters that will save you. So you can also use the gate shield diffuser, but it's very situational. So most of the time, uh, you'll ha you want to have fire suppression. And I also have a horn now, thanks to player known. <laughs> and this is very useful, guys, to troll the enemies and to get gunners when you don't have a squad.
Kollegen. <laughs> so guys, uh, get a horn, it's really funny. So next important part of driving a battle bus is, uh, is to run with the EOD HUD implant with your engine and loadout because it able you to automatically spot explosives at 20 meters at max rank. This is extremely useful guys to spot 80 mines planted. 280 mines can uh, ruin your day, like uh, game over, 280 mines game over for an entire squad. Like sometimes we do with our squad we kill like uh, 5 tanks easily, several maxes, mini sanders and up we find 280 mines and we blow up. <laughs> so guys you need to be extremely careful with 80 mines. That's why I always run this implant with my driver loadout. So this is my basic battle bus loadout. I, str I strongly recommend that you always keep one basilisk at all times. And with thermal optics if possible, the gunners can acquire targets much faster with thermal optics. It's very important when we have to fight a lot of infantry popping in and out of cover. Like for example, three heavy assaults can uh, ruin your battle bus. So the gunners need to take them out fast and the thermal optics helps a lot for this. <laughs> so that's it for the introduction guys. In the next episode we'll talk about the loadout of the driver in more details. The loadout of the passengers, the loadout of the maxes, the loadout of the gunners, the different combinations and more chips guys. Uh, there's so much to say <laughs> about this vehicle. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed and I would love to know if you have more tips about driving that I forgot about. Because I know there's many bus drivers out there. And if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like and share it with your friends. Maybe they'll enjoy it too. <laughs> Have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. I'm down. Thanks. Lord, we survived. I don't know how. I need to press more. The save the Sandy. I see an enemy can close. Uh, go for it. Someone go. Whoa, more oh, prowlers. Lord. We need to use the freaking to do something, guys! Whoa, one fell down. No, oh, we lost the Babo! <laughs> Kill the Sandy, revenge! Bastards! Okay, guys, I'm gonna deploy. Who can pull on the max? We cannot revive the maxes. Me. I could. Deploying, deploying. Again?